Okay, so you've watched the lecture on uh, body language. Now let's talk about uh, facial expressions. And obviously, um, how you pose uh, the body of a character, getting um, body gestures and body poses right is really, really important to getting a good result in animation. But once you've done that, you want to start adding facial expressions. And again, facial expressions are incredibly important to uh, uh, expressing what a character is thinking and feeling. Um, and... Uh, when you're doing your thumbnails, you always want to make sure that you've got facial expressions in them, even if they're just simple uh, emoticons like a smiley face or a sad face or an angry face or a, or a happy face, whatever it is. You should always have expressions in your thumbnails so that it's clear what the character's thinking and feeling. Now, obviously, facial expressions are incredibly important and they tell us a lot about the way uh, a line is uh, delivered. Um, and what we say and how we say it are often very, very different. Um, this is taken from a, 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 an old-fashioned art instruction book uh, with this character saying, I'm sorry and goodbye, and you're fired in many, many different ways. And what this shows us is that the text, uh, that is to say, what a character says, and the subtext, that is to say, what they're really thinking and feeling, may be completely different. And if you take the word, if you take the word, I'm sorry, this person looks like he is genuinely sorry. This person doesn't look like he's very sorry at all. This person is, is sorry in an incredibly exaggerated way. Uh, uh, this person, yeah, I mean, the, 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 the facial expression behind these lines tells you what the character is really thinking. And as I've said, we, you'll, you'll find uh, this called, especially if you, if you take any acting lessons, which I highly recommend, you'll find this called uh, text and subtext. Text, what the character is saying on the surface. Uh, subtext, what they're really, really thinking and feeling. Um, uh, Calvin and Hobbes uh, is a, one of the most wonderful cartoons ever created. Uh, in the, it was serialised in the American papers for, for many years, probably still is, uh, although I don't think Bill Watterson still does it anymore. But um, he, he's really nice at getting facial expressions on Calvin. Uh, and so the question I have is, are these expressions that Calvin is making here genuine expressions or pantomime? Uh, and the answer is that what Calvin is doing here is he is pantomiming these expressions. Here he's pantomiming boredom. Here he's pantomiming anger. I don't know what he's pantomiming here. Here he's pantomiming disgust. All of these expressions are, are, are Calvin pretending to be experiencing these emotions. And this is an important principle because you'll see in life that people do both. You know, we can, we can have a genuine expression of disgust as when we eat something that we genuinely find revolting. Or, and you'll see children doing this all the time, they eat a carrot and they pantomime disgust. They don't really find carrots disgusting, but they'd rather have ice cream. So they're going to pantomime disgust in order to get the ice cream. So there's a difference between real facial expressions, genuine expressions, and pantomime expressions. So um, the question is, how do we express a uh, character's emotion? And there's a, um, a scientist whose work I admire hugely called uh, Dr. Paul Ekman, who's an expert on human expressions. And I highly recommend his book, Unmasking the Face, which is a study of how to recognize this very small subtleties in, in facial expressions. And Ekman is the master of the micro expression. Um, and he originally uh, pioneered this stuff at his um, uh, Seattle uh, um, uh, laboratory, which he calls the Love Lab, where he gets couples in uh, and takes video footage of them interacting with one another. And he uh, claims to be able to tell from the little micro expressions which f flit across people's faces whether those couples are going to make it over the long haul. So that's where he began this study. Um, and it's incredibly useful for us as animators because he uh, identifies pairs of muscles or groups of muscles which taken together produce facial expressions. Uh, and so he's a, his, his work is, uh, is really, really useful. So uh, going back to basics, how many facial expressions are there? If we go back to the beginning, uh, 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 how many facial expressions can you name? So before you go to the next bit of the video, just see if you can write down the main um, facial expressions. And the answer is there are about nine basic expressions. You've got a neutral one, which is this one here, uh, disgust over here, 
Um, uh, there's contempt, anger, determination, happiness, sadness, surprise, and fear. Um, and most of our other expressions are, are variations on these themes. These are the sort of nine basic ones. Uh, and you can also blend them. And one of the wonderful things about Ekman's books, which again I highly recommend, is that um, he uh, is blending these different expressions to produce, for example, contempt mixed with anger or, or, or fear mixed with surprise and so on in order to create incredibly varied expressions. Really, really useful resource. So here's a, here's a neutral expression. Uh, and uh, so if I ask a question, what is that? Uh, you'll no doubt uh, recognize that as disgust. The nose is wrinkled, the mouth corners are turned down, the eyes are narrowed, uh, and the brows are down. Here's some more variations on disgust. Uh, this is, um, we've got real disgust versus pantomime disgust. Uh, 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 that one here is definitely um, uh, pantomime. Uh, there's a kind of haughty or contemptuous disgust. Lots of different variations here. What about this one here? And this is contempt. Similar to disgust, slightly different. Uh, uh, they're, they're closely related. Uh, and here are a, a series of variations on them. This one looks like uh, uh, you've got uh, contempt mixed with boredom. Like, am I really going to have to hear this story for much longer? Um, so there's lots and lots of great material here in, Ekman, in Ekman's books. Here's back to Calvin. Here's, here's a kind of pantomime disgust. He's pretending that the broccoli is really disgusting, but actually we know he just wants ice cream. Um, what about this one here? And this one is sadness. And you've got wide eyes, you've got the, um, the brows are angled up like this, wrinkles in the forehead, mouth corners down. Here's some more variations on sadness. Here's intense sadness. We can see that, that sort of, that V shape in the eyebrows there. Um, uh, uh, here's, this looks like, a, 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 this is fear. Fear and sadness quite closely related. That's why we have to caricature everything because these, these images are quite uh, subtle. Um, but there's no, our, our, our human faces have an immense range of, of expression. Uh, here's more variations on the, uh, on the theme of sadness. Um, what about this one here? And that, of course, is anger. Angry, brows down in the reverse V-shape. Uh, remember, sadness, the, the V-shape is, 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 is shaped this way. In anger, it's shaped this way. Eyes are narrow, just little slits here. Mouth corners turned down. Uh, this is anger is related to disgust. You can you can blend the two together. Um, and we can see uh, there's a, a fear blended with anger. There's fear blended with disgust. Uh, sorry, anger blended with disgust. Anger in the eyes and uh, 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 disgust in the uh, mouth. So lots and lots of uh, uh, variations. Here's some more variations on anger. Um, uh, uh, here's a really nice one down there with the uh, lower lips. Here's, here's anger shouting. The, the person is speaking here. Here's a kind of cold, silent rage. Eyes very, very wide, uh, combined with brows pressed down. Uh, and and the, the mouth, the lips are pursed together as if the character can't even speak. They're so angry. Here's uh, more anger from Calvin, kind of pantomime anger. And then going back to, uh, to Ekman, uh, what is this one? Uh, and it's uh, fear. Actually, it's not quite, such, it's quite so clear as some of the others. But here again, you've got the, 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 the brows in this V-shape, the eyes are wide, uh, the nostrils are flared, uh, and the mouth corners are turned down. Here's some more variations on fear. You could have the mouth open or you could have the, the lips kind of pulled back against the face like that. Um, uh, uh, um, here's fear blended with surprise, quite common to find those two things combined. So I uh, highly recommend you, 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 you get uh, Ekman's book, Unmasking the Face. Uh, incredibly uh, useful for getting good uh, facial expressions. Here is um, uh, uh, here's a sort of a horror or shock expression um, uh, and uh, here's a, a kind of worried fear over here. Here's fear exaggerated and caricatured. I'm sure you're familiar with Edvard Munch's uh, famous scream uh, and here Calvin uh, basically doing the same thing. 
Here's another one, and this expression is surprise. Brows up, eyes wide, mouth neutral. Here's some variations on surprise. Uh, the mouth open is the most uh, common um, link in all of these. Um, what about this one here? And here we have determination. Could be mistaken for anger. Brows down, mouth corners down, lips tightened, uh, jaw muscles clenched. Here's some more. Here's, uh, here's boredom. Calvin, again, pantomiming boredom here. Uh, here's uh, happiness, obviously degrees of happiness. Um, uh, a closed mouth here, slightly more open mouth here, and then a really uh, delighted, uh, super happy expression down there. And of course, when you're talking about a smile, you can have just a simple smile with closed lips, uh, a smile showing the teeth, and a broad smile showing various degrees of happiness. Here's some happiness drawings. Uh, 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 this is a, a deer I did for the last Harry Potter film, and Calvin pantomiming happiness here, like he's he's you know he's 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 having to pull his lips into the happy shape. Again, children's uh, pantomime. Here's happiness uh, contrasted with contempt. There's a nice one there, a sort of smug happiness. Here's um, happiness blended with surprise, like somebody delighted to see an old friend. Uh, 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 goodness me. Uh, so amazed to see you. Um, now we can simplify these shapes massively uh, and of course everyone who uses email is familiar with these shapes. This colon and bracket um, end up producing a smiley face and equally this one here, a sad face. Uh, this one is very common in Asia where facial expressions tend to be communicated more with the eyes than in the mouth. In the West, we, this is a happy face in Asia but in the West this isn't, isn't so happy because the mouth would need to be turned up in order to get happiness in the West. Um, uh, here's obviously a, a, a smiley happy face, another smiley happy face, <laughs> a surprised face, I don't know what this one is, uh, and uh, of course emoticons you know, are actually a useful resource for animation because if you're really struggling to get an expression go always go back to the emoticons and they're always nice and clear. Happiness, anger, uh, here's a kind of winking playfulness, uh, happiness again here, sadness here, and so on. Emoticons are really, really useful for getting basic facial expressions. But the important thing is to simplify and exaggerate and make stuff clear. That's why I like the Calvin and Hobbes stuff so much, because it's so very, very clear. Um, changes of expressions. Um, uh, you always want to make sure that when you do a change of expression that you actually show it clearly. Try not to do a rapid head turn or something like that when you change an expression because the audience will miss it. Better to change the expression and then have the head turn. Here's a, another trick. If you had a he have a head tilt, head tilt uh, it makes your head see, it makes the uh, facial expression more interesting and you tend to feel sympathy for the character. Uh, this is the uh, former Princess of Wales doing an interview in which she tilted her head in, a, in, a, in, a, in an expression that made her seem uh, sympathetic and made us uh, sympathize with her plight. Uh, asymmetry also important. You'll see this especially in the DreamWorks stuff. They tend to uh, very greatly exaggerate this kind of uh, off-center asymmetrical look. Um, it's the kind of the DreamWorks house style um, and um, Jack Black with Kung Fu Panda is no exception. Here's some model sheets by the incredibly talented uh, Jakob Jensen who I had the great privilege of working with at uh, DreamWorks on uh, Sinbad and these are his model sheets. Um, uh, uh, really, really nice work they are too. And that's one of the things you, you will find you will do if you become a, a lead animator uh, or a character designer on a film. You'll end up having to do expression sheets for the animators because everybody wants to know, you know, what are these characters going to look like in, in different expressions? And this will help the modelers cl create blend shapes and facial expressions for the characters. Very, very important. Here's some that I did on Beverly Hills Chihuahua. This was this silly character, Benjamin. We were doing just muzzle replacement on these things, but we still had to make uh, a, a broad range of facial expressions in order to uh, make these characters work. So here's an, here's a, an exercise for you um, uh, uh, to uh, have a character uh, turn his head and blink and change his expression. And I suggest putting the character in a car because then you're not worried about too much. You're not worried about having the character moving around. Um, and you just frame the shot about the car window. Uh, you can get lots and lots of free cars at uh, Turbo Squid and just have uh, have the character, doesn't have to be Jeff, can be any character, can be Norman or Morpheus, 
um, or Andy or any one of the many uh, free rigs available and have the character turn his head from one direction to another and show the expression change. So there's a simple exercise just to get the hang of expression changes.